Well, hello, everyone. You know, this is Anita and the Biz Coach coming back to you with all things grants. Yes, this is my holiday information blast. You will be receiving wonderful, awesome, valuable information from me every day until the holidays are over. The end of 2022, you all is here and it is time to set those goals and get things done and in motion for 2023. And that is why I am offering my holiday special that I am calling Your One Thing. Why am I calling it Your One Thing? Let me tell you why. Because there's so many different things that maybe you know, we put on our list every year, we don't get the chance to get them done, or we think about it toward the end of the year, or, you know, we're working on a project, and it's like, oh my God, I'm not going to have time to do this. I need letters. I need donation letters. I need to contact some uh, possible donors. I need to make some other contacts. I need my grant template updated. There's so many one things that we tend to sometimes look over, forget about, or don't consider that maybe we need that for the goals that we're setting for the coming year. So that is why I am offering this $99 per month special where you can get some assistance from me to get your one thing done, all right? And I'm calling it your one thing, but hey, depending on how fast you get stuff to me and we get it done, it might end up being three things, you know, because we got three months to get it done from January to March of 2023. So make sure that you contact me at info at Anita in the biz coach dot com and let me know if you need some assistance with your one thing i can go ahead and sign you up for that we can have a meeting get those strategies done and see what your priorities are for the next year all right so make sure you reach out to me because the deadline to sign up is december 31st so you have to meet me meet with me and we get that um the fees taken care of, and then we can get started on your one thing. All right. So for today, my tip number two for grant writing, and uh, I've just been having some fun with this, you all. I've been finding out some good information on different grants and different opportunities. And of course, always, I want to be able to share some grant writing tips with you, right? Even, you know, we think when we think grants, we think, you know, just the writing for it, but there's so much more to this whole process than just the writing. All right. So my tip number two for my five days to Christmas is make sure you pay attention to what your funders that you're considering to partner with and solicit funds from that you know a lot about what their main focus areas are. You want to know who they fund, what type of things they fund. And of course, as I always say, make sure you're a match for what their mission is, all right? Here's another thing that of course you need to be able to do. Go on their website, look at their different, you know, look, up, look them up on social media, look at their different articles and things that have been printed about them and find out who they've been funding in the past and some of the verbiage and the keywords that they use on their website, on their different program descriptions and things of that nature. And you can use the same terminology. Yes, give it back to them, all right? Look and see what type of things they do. See how they word those things, those, um, you know, the way the keywords that they use over and over again in their announcements and things of that nature. And you go ahead and use the same thing if it does match what you are doing as well. You don't want to overdo it, but you want to be able to use that same verbiage so they can identify that, oh, okay, they do the same things that we do. Awesome, awesome. So use some of that same wording, you all. And again, look at those that they have funded in the past. Look and see what type of programs and projects they've got funded. Look at their words and their verbiage and their keywords and phrases and things that they use and use them as well if it matches up with your mission and what you're trying to accomplish as well. So this is a part of your research. This is a part of your homework. These are the things that you need to do in this grant readiness process to get ready to apply for your funding, okay? So that is my tip number two for today. 
I hope this has been some valuable information for you. And I look forward to next time, which will be tomorrow. All right. So look forward to it. And make sure you check out the grant information that I have here. I'll be sending grant information every day until the end of the year. So make sure you're clicking on the email. Make sure you are checking me out on social media as well. Uh, you can um, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and subscribe to me on YouTube at Anita in the Biz Coach. All right. So you guys take care. I pray that you continue to be safe and getting your all of your one things done. All right. Well, until next time.